Hi, in this video I will show you how to create 7 strand braid with 2 ribbons. For this look, you need 2 ribbons that should be a little bit longer than your hair. First, I secure the ends of the ribbons with puppy pins on my head. Then make sure that the ribbons can't slip away. Next, I take some hair under these ribbons and then I separate this hair strand in five equal pieces. Then I bring the ribbons to the middle, like this, and then I take one section from the five and bring it between the ribbons. Then I start braiding from the right side. Split the rightmost piece, bring the outmost strand under, then over the ribbon and under the middle strand. That strand is between the ribbons. Then I do the same on the other side, leftmost strand under, over the ribbon and under the middle one. Then I move both ribbons closer to the middle strand. So take the ribbon and move it over closer to the middle strand. And here's the one stitch. Then I take again the outmost strand, bring it under, add hair over the ribbon and under the middle strand. Then I do the same from the another side. Take the outmost strand, bring it under, add hair, then over the ribbon and under the middle strand. Next, move both ribbons over closer to the middle strand. So, left over and right ribbon over. Every time when you start a new stitch, you should have two strands of hair from the sides and two ribbons and one hair strand on the middle. Then take the outmost strand, bring it under, add hair, over the ribbon and under the middle strand. Then repeat the same from the another side. Bring the outmost strand under, add hair, bring the strand over the ribbon and under the middle. After that, move both ribbons over the next, closer to the middle strand. Then repeat the another pattern. Bring the outmost strand under, add hair, bring the strand over the ribbon and under the middle strand. Do the same from the another side. Bring the strand under, add hair, move the strand over the ribbon and under the middle strand. Then move the ribbons closer to the middle strand. Like this. Then repeat again. Bring the outmost strand under, add hair over the ribbon and under the middle strand. I personally prefer the print ribbon immediately after the first step over closer to the middle strand. That's how I can avoid the extra moves, which means that the braid will look more neat 
because I don't need to move the strands as much as I should with the usual way. So the most important is that you create the step one where you need to move the rightmost and the leftmost strand first under the hair strand, then over the ribbon and then under the middle strand. Then you need to move both ribbons over the next strand to get them back to the starting point. Like this. Then repeat again. Move both strands, rightmost and leftmost strand, under, over the ribbon and under the middle strand. After that, create the step 2. Move both ribbons over the next strand to get them back to the starting point. You can also create the step 2 where you need to move the ribbons on the right places after you created the step 1 on that side. So once you moved the leftmost strand under, over the ribbon and under, you can move the leftmost ribbon back to its place. And after that, you can move to the right side and do the step 1 and step 2 on the row in the right side. Then move back to the left side and so go on. To get more volume for this braid, I pancake the edges of the braid. Next I show this technique without addings. You need two strands on both sides and then one strand and two ribbons on the middle. Move the rightmost strand under, over the ribbon and under the middle strand. Then move the ribbon one step closer to the middle strand. Then bring the leftmost strand under, over the ribbon and under the middle strand. Then move the left ribbon one step closer to the middle strand. Then start a new stitch. Bring the rightmost strand under, over the ribbon and under. Then move the ribbon one step closer to the middle strand. Then the left under, over the ribbon and under. Move the ribbon closer to the middle. Under, over 
under, ribbon one step closer, under, over, under, and ribbon one step closer. Keep on repeating like this until the end of the hair. Once the braid is finished, remove the puppy pins and pull the ends of the ribbons inside the braid. I loosen the braid a little bit using my finger and then I just pull the ribbon in. Here's the final result. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day!